Welcome friends. Today in this video we will learn about Open EDX platform which is the open source software developed by EDX. Through Open EDX platform you can develop your own MOOC course and anybody anywhere in the world can access the same. EDX is the online learning destination founded by Harvard and MIT. To learn how to develop MOOC through Open EDX visit the link www.edunext.co type in your browser www.edunext.co so this will open the home page of edunext to get started click on start a free trial scroll down on this page and click on sign up for free free version is the light version which can accommodate up to 50 learners on this page select any of first two options as primary goal of subscription and then click on next now you have to fill this form in the answer to first question, choose the last option which is individual initiative. Please don't choose any other option as this might create issue in content creation. Choose the option other as purpose of your initiative and put any number between 100 and 200 as an answer to the third question then select LMS and studio option as the open EDX feature that you are interested in select the time frame as soon as possible then in the last option choose I plan to develop the content myself and click on next This is the third step of sign up. Here, first you have to put a name to your MOOC web page. So I am putting Maths Learning. This name you can edit later on also. Then you have to choose URL for your website. Let's put Maths Learning. So click outside so this name is not available so let us try maths online learning let us see whether it is available or not so click outside of this blank great this URL is available now pick a theme color of your web page you can choose any of these colors to give a feel of your choice then you can upload the logo of your web page by clicking on upload icon note that this is optional and you can skip this for now and later on if you want you can edit this from management console so I have selected and uploaded the image for my web page this logo I have created using renderforest.com you can also try for your logo after editing the logo click on accept the logo is ready now click on next this is the fourth and last step of sign up on this page you will have to write about account information first you have to write your contact name that is your name then email id through which you want to register any valid email id can be used to sign up on this page i am using my gmail email id then next you have to choose some username for your web page so i am using the initials of my 
email id which is rajesh.8373948 you can choose whatever you want the next you have to choose a password of at least 8 characters and finally they want to know the source of your knowledge about edunext you can choose option you like from many available options then accept the terms and conditions and click on launch my open edx site this is the welcome page for edunext edunext has three components first is management console from where you can change appearance of lms can track the record of students monitor emails update your subscription etc second is lms platform which is for students to access before accessing lms or studio platform we must activate our account via email received from edunext third is studio platform where you will upload your course content before exploring further let us first activate our account so i am opening my gmail account next then password next when you will open your G email account for activation you will see two different mail emails from edunext support mail contains important links to three environments that you will be needing all through your learning platform management console and studio platform then when you will open the next email you will get the activation link click on the activation link to activate your account the account is activated we can now go back and explore the management console further Currently we are in Edunex management console from monitoring section we can keep record of active users real time logs which show how many times our lms platform is being used then email tracking keeps the record of email sent through lms platform by students in microsites settings we can customize the lms platform In general section we can change name time zone of the website etc in basic look and feel section we can change the appearance of the lms platform we can change the color of the background we can change the background image to change click on upload and then choose the suitable picture that you want to upload these are the places that you can change these are all editable items so these are all the things that you can explore here you can upload logo of your online platform then you can add urls and clicking on save changes saves all the changes that you have made there are email settings and many other things which are still left to be explored and we will leave this for the learner let us now see how our lms platform looks like click on lms platform link this opens your website www.mathsonlinelearning.edunext.io this is the website that you will share with your students this is the logo maths learning that we uploaded students will be able to access your courses after registering on the website to register they have to click on register now and fill the form that follows so this is the form they have to fill they have to enter their email address their full name their username password country after completing the registration they can sign in to access the courses we can access the website with the same email id and password that was used to register on edunext so this is the email id with which i registered on edunext click on login to this is how 
होम पेज ऑफ अवर वेबसाइट लुक्स लाइक स्टूडेंट्स कैन एक्सप्लोर कोर्सेज थ्रू द लिंक एक्सप्लोर कोर्सेज द कोर्सेज दैट यू विल डेवलप विल अपीयर हेयर बट सिंस देर आर नो कोर्सेज राइट नाउ देर इज नथिंग हेयर After LMS let us now explore studio platform this is where most of your effort will lie this is the home page of open edx studio from here you can start creating your first course also you can add any new course from this link visit this link to learn more about open edx studio let me now share with you an example of mooc course based on open edx the website rcmooc.in is an example it has a paid subscription and therefore its domain is independent of edunux.io you can see at the top there is a logo of open edx also at the bottom it is written take free online courses at edx.org